being patient leads to greater results but if you're always the kind of person that's always impatient you're just going to fall lag behind and you're just going to fail in life hey guys hey my lovely people hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time you are most highly welcome my name is blessing fatima and this is youtube the difference where we talk about faith relationship lifestyle and career so if it is your first time you are most highly welcome I know it's been a while sitting in front of the camera making videos for you guys like that was one of my resolutions for this year that I was going to be consistent on YouTube post regularly post um, spiritual content post more of life and education and all of that but then the year started and life just became <laughs> busy like we like they always say we plan and God dispose and God does that because I had so much plans for this year so staying away from youtube i planned that i was not going to stay away from youtube for that long but there are times you just need to take break you need to take a breather you need to refresh because you cannot impact others if you're not impacting yourself so i just want to say i'm really sorry for not being consistent it was never part of my plan it was never part of my ideas i never wanted to stay away from youtube because i love what i'm doing and I just want others to love it, love seeing me and love making content for you guys. But life got busy. So actually, I don't know if I told you guys, but I got a job. It was a contract job. Like you say, see the job. <laughs> it sounds mature. So I actually made a video um, last year saying the things that you should do in your youthful age. And I told you guys you need to explore new things. So like I decided to go into a job and I experienced a lot. I don't know if you guys want to know my experience, but if you want, let me know in the comment section below and I'll, I will do the video. What my experience were in just a few time being um, a, an employee. <laughs> uh, so I became so busy juggling work, juggling studies, juggling Christian life and making YouTube was a lot. I had so many content ideas, but then I didn't have the time Time to sit down make the videos edit them and post it it was a lot of work so i'm really sorry guys okay so um in today's video we're going to be talking about the things i learned in 2021 the reason why i really love to make this particular video is because like it makes me realize where i've been and where i should be going and um and i'm sure you watching this video you would um, i'm sure there are things also that you learned from it because like i never used to do it in all of my christian life i never did like sit down what was the things i learned but like there are many things i've okay these are the things i'm learning why is god making me go through all of these things so that's why and if i didn't do the video i would be so unfair to 2021 and unfair to myself and fear to you guys as well and i'm so sorry that i had to come up in february i was planning to do it um last month by the way happy new year guys happy new month because this is february <laughs> happy new month and happy new year all to you to your loved ones and your friends so without further ado let's get into the video today um so the first thing i learned in 2021 is that no one can exist peacefully without god um, in the book of Isaiah 9 verse 6, we come to realize that God, um, Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace, he's Emmanuel, he's God with us, he's the supreme God, he's the God of peace, he's the one that, that he's peace himself, so if you don't have him, you will never have a peaceful life, there are times people are always asking themselves, why is my life like this, why is everything happening to me like this, and that's because you don't have jesus in your life you don't have god in your life you're just walking the way you want to there are times we just forget god we leave god um behind and just move on our on our way like i watched a message today and um the preacher was emphasizing on the story of jesus his father joseph and his mother mary they were going to jerusalem and they left him behind so many of us have left god behind and we're just going like that that's why our life is just like up and down up and down um having god is a, in your life is not only you going to church is that your personal relationship with god so i've realized that you cannot have a peaceful life without god the thing is that everything that happens in our life is for a particular reason 
like there are many things that has happened to me personally i'm like god why are you allowing these things to happen to me like why why are you passing me through these tough times and all of that and lately i've realized that it's because like god is trying to prepare me for something greater like the one thing i observed or learned from this job that i got he, he this job really taught me how to be patient because i've been somebody that has been so impatient i want everything to work at my back and call i want everything to just at the the snip of my hand and getting this job like it taught me how to be patient so everything that happens in our life there are times things happen and we're like doubting god and there are times i can testify there are times you really feel discouraged like god why are you letting these things happen to me but then god is preparing you for greater things because you cannot progress so you cannot grow or you cannot have testimonies without being tested so that's one thing i learned in in the year when this patient leads to greater results like i told you guys the thing that i learned last year coming to this year is patience and that is something i found really difficult to handle being patient i want everything to work at my disposal and i've observed that the reason why many people are falling off or that they are not um enjoying the kind of life they are supposed to enjoy is because they are not patient you want to get married but then you don't want to wait for the time of god you want to go to habalis to just make you beautiful and there are times women want they get married and god is telling them wait i didn't give you a child yet. maybe you have two or three things to do for god and for yourself and you're like no i want a baby so you have to go the other way being patient leads to greater results but if you're always the kind of person that's always impatient you're just going to fall lag behind and you're just going to feel yeah. this that life doesn't always go the way we planned it like there are many things like i just said earlier in my introduction and in my just a brief of what's why i stayed away from youtube like i had so many plans for my channel for myself and for life itself and my spiritual life and everything but like it didn't go the way i wanted it in the first month so life doesn't always go the way you plan there are many people that have already planned their lives like when i'm 20 i need to get married i need to get a degree and when i'm 25 i need to have a child and all of that and then they reach they clock 20 no marriage clock 25 no marriage no child they clock 30 and they're like hmm, what is going on is god forsaking me this that that and that so that's one thing i've learned and i've observed that life doesn't always go the way we plan it it goes according to the will of god Right, so that's one thing i've learned it that in everything we should give thanks many people especially christians are not grateful the time that god blesses them they are like oh it's because of my wisdom it's because of my beauty but when hard times come they're like god you have forsaken me you have done all that but like the bible says in everything we should give thanks there are times we go through problems it's because god is trying to teach us something so we should be thankful and many christians are not thankful even when god does something for them they are like god this is not enough you give me a husband you give me a husband and he's not handsome or you give me a husband he doesn't have a job there are things that we always need to be thankful for because many people don't have them but we have them so we should be thankful for everything that god gives to us pain and in sorrow we should up is that god prepares an individual for greater works like i sometimes say the way God handles a particular person is not the way he's going to handle every other person. So God might be handling me in a different way because I have greater works, greater exploits, greater things to do for him. Then he might be handling somebody else in a different way. You see, my Christian life is going a wire up and down like my life is not in a in a good position and then you see another person like a christian life is smooth beautiful planted in a nice way so that's for one thing i've learned god prepares his children for greater works life is unpredictable like the reason why i really said this i don't know if you guys saw that vlog i lost a colleague of mine like he was such an amazing person like who would who would have known that he would die at a very 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 young age he just got married like he, he already had his life planned like we'll sit together and you'll be like this is what i want to do for my mom because he's the only child and this is the this is the thing i want to do for my wife and blah 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 and then life just it just happened so life is really unpredictable but one thing that is really really um what can i say 
is really assured to us is that we are children of God and God is by us. So in whatever thing you're doing, you need to acknowledge him. There are times I fall short. I will not come and tell you, oh, I'm always acknowledging God. There are times you feel like, okay, this thing I'm doing is right, but which of course is not right. So life is unpredictable and you need to allow God to lead. Friends, making a difference goes a long way. I didn't know many people were looking up to me um except this particular like this few months one uh when i went to do this job we had like a training process and i was dressing simple wearing my garments and wearing my clothes just trying to feel nice and presentable and some people met me are like are you the, are you a pony again i'm like yes how do you guys know me they say Louise because one the way you're comporting yourself the way you dress the way you talk the way you just keep yourself on a low level so that that thing really clicked me like making a difference goes a long way there are times you'll be in a particular congregation or you'll be among people and you're the only one that is different then you will think that oh <laughs> like i should just join them like i i i think i was watching something yesterday and the the, the person commented instead of blending in stand out that really that particular statement really struck me there are times we want to blend ourselves in with everybody else because this is the trend this is what people are doing and then we forget to just stand out there are times you don't you don't need to blend you just need to stand out because there's a particular person unknowing it to you are blessing or you're making a difference so, like lately people are coming to me in my class like you're making a difference you're blah 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 and where people are like oh we, we knew you for that particular person so we don't want you to change and all of that so making a difference goes a long way and also i learned this particular thing from the burial of my friend yes he made he touched so many lives like his his funeral was jump packed although that's not what is going to determine him for going for to go to heaven that's not what is going to determine his heavenly um journey but like when i just saw as as a young person in that particular young age the kind of lives that you stretch you're like making a difference really goes a long way so that's something if you're somewhere you don't have to always have to go with the trend you have to stand out and make a difference it's just like a backup for making a difference people are always watching us especially if you proclaim that you are a christian people are going to be looking at you so basically these are the things that i have learned and i hope you also like got a few things from this and just work it in your life so before going in to uh before ending the video i told you guys i have an exciting news so i'm sure you guys see that the the background is changed i moved out of the house well not actually moved moved but um i decided to come stay up at the campus and you guys are going to see a lot of videos i actually planned on doing like this really cute video like morning routine and all of that but like i didn't feel like it when i woke up this morning so like there will be amazing content that will be coming by the grace of god and also i've also decided to focus um, a bit on education because that is what um this channel is about faith relationship lifestyle and career so i really want to like throw a bit of light on um education on a career on life on what to do and all of that so i'll be posting um videos and educations by the grace of god oh lord help me because <laughs> this particular year is really difficult but i'll try to do it so i'll try as much as possible to be posting every wednesdays on career and fridays on um sundays on any other video so i hope you guys subscribe so that you you will be the first to be notified when um, i post those videos so um, basically this is the end of the video i hope you like it i hope you're blessed and i'll see you guys in the next video have a beautiful and a wonderful day bye